It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. And I'm Colin Jost. Well, the National Guard has been deployed to the Mexican border. Our trade war with China keeps escalating. And a porn star says she can give a detailed description of the president's penis. And yes, I listed those stories from least to most disturbing. <laughs> President Trump deployed the National Guard to the Mexican border, even though reports show that illegal border crossings are at their lowest levels since 1971. It's all part of Trump's philosophy. If it ain't broke, I'll break it. <laughs> So now Trump is just sending the National Guard, not even the Army. This is such a Trump move. He promises a big, beautiful wall, and then the wall becomes a fence. And then the fence becomes the Army. And then the Army becomes the National Guard. Pretty soon, it's just going to be a beware of dog sign. <laughs> the Trump administration has also published a list of Chinese exports that could be targeted for tariffs, including salt, rubber, and animal blood, which are the exact ingredients in Monster Energy Drink. <laughs> President Trump defended his trade policies on Twitter, saying this about our trade deficit with China. When you're already $500 billion down, you can't lose. What kind of degenerate gambler logic is that? <laughs> it can always get worse, man. If your plane loses an engine after takeoff, the pilot doesn't say, we're still flying to Hawaii anyway, because when you're already one engine down, you can't lose. Among the U.S. products facing higher tariffs or dried nuts, something the Trump administration is very familiar with. <laughs> Expert... <laughs> Experts say that Trump's new tariffs will directly hurt U.S. manufacturers, but why would Donald Trump care about what experts say? Experts also said that he couldn't win the presidency and that eating four bags of McDonald's a day will kill you, but somehow there he is, healthy as a fat horse. <laughs> I don't think we want to get in a trade war with China, though. If Canal Street has taught me anything, <laughs> it's that there is nothing we have that the Chinese can't just make themselves. <laughs> I mean, that's where I get all my fuji from. <laughs> this week, shade queen Donald Trump also repeatedly <laughs> attacked Amazon on Twitter. If I were Amazon, I would just troll him right back. I just constantly send the White House copies of Fire and Fury and Stormy Daniels DVDs, or things Trump really hates, like vegetables. <laughs> Kremlin officials are also saying that during a call last month, President Trump invited Vladimir Putin to come visit him at the White House. Worse, when Trump hung up, he accidentally said, love you, bye. <laughs> Stormy Daniels' lawyer claimed that CBS edited out a clip of Daniels' 60 Minutes interview in which she described the president's genitalia. Good. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want that image burned in my brain. Stormy's like that person who goes, oh, this is so gross. Taste it. No, I, I believe you. Stop trying to tell us what Donald Trump's penis is like. If I wanted to know what a 70-year-old's penis looked like, I'd go down to the NBC gym. 